there's a key. <laughs> Getting loaded up and then day and a half early. Pissed rain last night. Where did it go? Frank's getting his social media stick ready to go. Heading up the mountain. I left Frank had to go potty at the bottom, so I took off a little early so I could walk slower. He just caught up to me. Super foggy. I uh, sweating a bit. It's humid, but it's definitely it's killing weather. The um, the temperature is down, and uh, I don't know how well we'll be able to see at the top, but either way, I got the pack loaded, I got the widow in my hand, and uh, hopefully I can hold out for a big one. Sweaty. It's foggy. It's sweaty, and everything is wet. Reminds me of Idaho. It's looking a little rough behind me, Frank. All right, let's go. I got to base camp a little bit ago in my base camp, and uh, I got pack. I empty that out. The water I left up here is still good. I didn't bring it all up. Flung a few arrows there. And uh, I got a bag of food and sleeping bag and some clothing. One of those I packed in, one of my left up here. That's my uh, spike camp in that lid. That's a native lid and I got a pair of tarp and a bivy. Um, Cause I won't be able to stay here that much. I'm sure I'm gonna have to move depending. And then there's the bow. Got her all battened down here. Battened, however you say that. You get pretty crazy weather up here. I gotta do the same thing with the paratarp. So hopefully, I don't get too much pressure in the morning. Not tomorrow morning, tomorrow's Friday, but Saturday morning. And um, I'm in a glass from right above me, and I can see pretty much where the deer have been. If there's pressure, I don't know what the hell's going to happen. But um, <laughs> I'm hoping to kill it's a big one up on the other side of this, that, that big 4x4 four four that's super wide and a 3x4. See how long I can hold out before I shoot something else. Um, just see how it goes, I guess. I'll try to hold out as long as I can. I told Lander I tried to hold out for something in the 170s. I don't know if I'll be able to do that or not. I'm not very good at passing stuff up, but we'll see. I got enough meat in the freezer. If I pass up enough and don't kill one, so be it. But I doubt that'll happen because uh, I'll end up shooting something smaller because I don't like not filling my tag and I like deer meat. I try to take a little bit of a nap. Um, listen to an audio book. <laughs> Ace. Serious storm has come through. It uh, died off for a bit and then picked back up. And uh, I think the lightning is going to miss me. The lightning just, judging by the time the thunder and lightning hits, apart about three miles to my west. But uh, it's heading for Frank, so we'll see what happens. I mean, it is loud. It has plowed the ground, too. So. Enjoying my coffee. Hopefully I don't get struck by lightning. We're off to a hell of a start. So, uh, water's a pretty high commodity up here. So what I'm doing is going to each pool after that big rain. There's a bunch of them. And uh, filling up my bladders. That way I don't have to drop as much altitude. I was able to fill this six liter up dang near already and then uh, this is a three liter and this is a ten and I'm just gonna wander around on all these different pools up here hopefully get them all filled up a little after five on opening morning I had uh, a few hunters move in I talked with them last night super cool 
school guys, and uh, they're only about 400 yards from me, but we kind of came to a, an agreement of who's going to do what in the morning, which was super cool, and they're damn good hunters, um, which is nice, because I don't have to worry about them blowing anything out, and I, they seem to feel confident about that with me, so, uh, and they're looking for over 200 inch deer in the high 190s, where being honest, you know, anything in the 150s, 160s for me is plenty fine, especially with the recurve, so either way, the weather's good, and a little bit cold, but not bad, um, so hopefully everything pans out, and uh, get something on the ground today, if not, I'm excited either way to be out here. Well, I just got back to camp, and uh, put a stock on, 165, 170 buck, had one of the hunters that was with me. Um, up top, 32, 34 yards, and uh, was faced with the moral dilemma. Do I stand and try and shoot it, or do I stay crouched and try to shoot it over the top of the weeds? And I stayed crouched, and I don't know if that's why I missed, but it didn't pan out. Shot right over its back. Really good buck. I climbed uh, a thousand feet, got my pack, fog came in. Now I'm back at the tent. Yay! But I got a stock and a shot on the first day on a good buck. And, didn't do anything stupid on the stock, so that's a bonus. Well, that was rough. I uh, <clears throat> bet it two bucks down. I got to, had to drop <clears throat> a lot of elevation. I didn't have any water. I'm a little dry. I uh, got about 25, 24 yards from their bed. One had his head to the right, and then the other one had his head to the left, just in front of him. And uh, I was waiting for him to stand because all I could see was their neck and their rack. And I waited for about 15 minutes. And uh, coyote came through, blew them out of their bed. They ran to my left. And uh, they were about 36, 37 yards. And uh, took a shot. And uh, man, the arrow was going perfect. And. <laughs> I went, hit him in the back of the leg, just nicked his leg, and he flew, took off, and I didn't even see any blood come off of it. It, uh, like right in the front, basically, it might have bled a little, but it wasn't, wasn't good. I, uh, two days into it, so I can't complain. I've had a good shot, and, uh, that was just bad luck, but hopefully, uh, I'm gonna have to leave this side alone for a day or two. I just, you know, I went all the way down and spread my scent around a bit. But hopefully I'll get one just in, the, in a bed in a cliff, which would be good, because um, that's what I need. It's a little more difficult because I'm going down into the timber, so I'm dropping down almost a thousand feet, and they're bedded right on this fringe. And uh, there's, there's obstacles in front of them, so it makes it a little more difficult to get a shot um, or maneuver around. But... It's about the longest I've ever walked just now in socks. I must have went 300 yards down this drainage in socks. The, the shale or the gravel stuff is real loud. But anyway, I got a hike back up there. I just came from about a thousand feet down. I need sustenance. I think I need to take a break. Take a nap. Dang. Well, I haven't been staying on top of my videoing very well, but uh, it's um, Monday, day three. So far, I've uh, missed one opening day, hit one in the leg yesterday, and I uh, was on a stock today, didn't pan out, but uh, it's been hard uh, physically just because of the drops to get down to them, and the weather has been a lot colder than I had anticipated. Um, this morning, it was fogged in until almost 11, um, and uh was cold I was shivering like crazy and uh, there's not a whole lot to build a fire with a lot a lot to build a fire up this high and the hunting pressure is kind of bad but I mean I'm having fun but uh, between the hikers and the hunters I, I wasn't expecting that but um, I can't complain I, I've gotten a couple shots so it's been fun I might my ass is tired though I will I won't lie coming out of that hole my this is my fifth time today uh, my quads were pretty pretty pooped, but uh, I'm about to eat some chili lime beef. Uh, give Amy a call, probably text my daughter, 
and then uh, chill and recoup recuperate. So all good so far. Other than I need to hit a deer. All right, people. It's uh, about nine o'clock at night. It's been a rough day. Um, day five. I can't complain. I've had a stock every day. I've uh, missed one and nicked one. Today I went on a stock on a deer that was probably 200 inches, pretty close, and uh, it was far, super far. It took me four hours to get over there and into position. Um, close the distance, there was four bucks, two of them I would have shot, but I got 34 yards from the biggest buck, the one I wanted to kill, and I didn't know... Um, and everything looks so different when you get over there. I had a picture in my phone, but that didn't that shit didn't help. And uh I had his buddy sixteen yards to my right when I was creeping in and uh I didn't south cox it totally. Uh I just rolled my pants up. It was in my socks and it was, it was a steep slope through these willows and uh I about shit my pants and he stood up and I could have killed him but he was only a four by four that maybe 120 inches or something and he blew out but the big one just stood there and uh the the arc of the arrow like looking at it i couldn't i couldn't sneak it in i didn't think i could anyway so i took a couple steps to the right and got about the half draw and uh he didn't fall for the banana in the pot tailpipe trip trick he got the fuck or heck out of there and uh and it took me I don't know how many hours to get back. I probably got back in an hour and a half of hiking straight, maybe two, uh, and then realized I didn't have any water. Um, at camp I ran out, so then I had to go get some more water. But uh, I got some guys hunting that are camping not too far from me, and I grabbed uh, Wesley uh, as one of the guys, and he and I went and got water. So misery loves company. Wesley missed a... Uh, one of the largest deer I've ever seen at 16 yards today. And, uh, been a rough day, but, uh, still getting after it. Got a laugh to keep from crying. But, uh, stop rambling on here. Try to eat some food and go to sleep. I think tomorrow might be a day of rest. My legs are pretty, pretty well toast. But other than that, I'm holding together pretty well. Hopefully I'll get one down pretty soon. Um, I'm still sticking with the, uh, the struggle stick, obviously. I mean, I didn't bring two weapons, meaning I haven't given up on it. But it definitely was rough today, having that deer right there, not getting a shot. But when I do get one, it'll definitely be probably one of the most, if not the most, rewarding animals I've uh, ever killed. So, fingers crossed. Hope for the best. I'm gonna get some food. All right, we got um, what's today's Wednesday? Sorry about the lighting. Just got back in my tent. It turned out to be one of the more physically demanding days of my life. Um, put a stock on two bucks. Um, one of the hunters that's camped not too far from me. We were both glassing together. Um, and I put um, about a mile away. By the kind of time I got there, there was actually four bucks. And... Uh, I had I knew where the bucks were when I had made this approach. It was a pretty steep hill, and they were tucked back just enough to where when I hooked around to the bottom of the hill, I threw my socks on and started creeping up the hill. I would have had probably a I don't know eight yard shot or something, and uh, like 24 yards out, there was a buck I couldn't see. It winded me. He didn't see me because he the way with that that shelf I guess as I was going up, he was tucked back, but on the left. And the wind changed, and man, bucks blew out everywhere. There ended up being four. Um, so I did the EOR walk back, and um, I don't know, it's an 800,000 foot drop. And um, when I got back, the guy I was glassing with, his brother, who's, who's hunting the same area but was in another spot, um, talked the guy I was glassing with, his name's Wesley, into going after these group of bucks that we watched bed and, and Wesley was, actually was cool about it. He was gonna have me go down and try and shoot one. I just I didn't think I'd get in there. And uh 
Wesley went in and ended up shooting one. So me and Wesley and uh, Omni dropped back down in the hole. Well, Wesley was already down there. He shot the buck, packed that buck back out. And then uh, we ended up um, hiking back to another spot to see if we could find it's more cliffy. See if we could find, there's a big buck back there. I'm not trying to shoot, but see if we could find me one in the cliffs. And, uh, man, I bet we gained and lost 8,000 feet. Oh, my nose is raw and crusty. Oh, 8,000 feet today in elevation. And I'm tired. So, I was supposed to take a rest today, but that didn't happen. But hopefully, get one better tomorrow I can put down. It's been an, an adventure. It's been fun, but super physically demanding but uh but it's been fun um i have passed up a lot of small bucks my first stock this morning was so fast uh, we spotted it and it dropped down in this kind of i don't know what you want to call it shoot and i got down there quick and there's two bucks and of course the like 165 four by four was 54 yards from me and the 3x3 was 24 yards from me probably should have shot it and I didn't and we'll see how this goes I passed up a lot of small bucks so far trying to shoot something in that 160 plus range and a couple more days and that may stop but uh, I'm not very good at trophy hunting not that you know 160 isn't some giant but for a recurve I'd be super happy with it i'd be happy with any deer at this point but i don't want to shoot a deer just to shoot it just yet um if it was like an epic stock it'd be one thing but um anyway you guys probably won't like this video because there's not a lot of action just updates but anyway it is what it is i'm gonna go to bed and uh hopefully get some good sleep not cramp up my legs are pretty tight right now we got hot spots from side hilling. But uh, yeah, that's what's going on in uh, day five or six hunting and day uh, seven or eight back here. And I'm starting to stink too. That's another problem. I need to shower. But uh, other than that, I'm holding up good. Everything is better when you've got some food in your belly. And, uh, mm. My butt's pretty well kicked. I'm gonna lie, kind of sore, but uh, the uh, weather was much better today. Um, yesterday we were fogged in till 11, 11 30, 12, something like that. Uh, pretty frigid cold. Really, it's not that cold. It's probably in the 30s, but the wind has just been howling. Um, like 30, 40 mile an hour gusts, and uh, it's made it interesting. For sure. I think Frank the Tank about got her done today. I got a message from him. Service is pretty limited up here. Battery life is definitely limited. But, uh, mm, still trying to hopefully get a big one down. Mm, passed up quite a few. I say small, a big one. Big one for me. I'm over 160 with the recurve, I'd be thrilled with. Well, let me drop down to 150 soon, but I passed up several so far that haven't regretted on passing. I'm not very good at that. Uh, I uh, recurve is pretty tough um, for me anyway to um, pass up animals, <laughs> but uh, I am uh, super tired. Uh, <laughs> And it's been a physically grueling hunt. I don't think people understand for high country mule deer, especially if you have to go in multiple stocks, how bad it can be. But, I mean, I'm having fun. Hmm. It's day five of the hunt. We've been in here seven days. And uh, I think we'll probably stay in another five before I... I'm so funky, I got to go shower. Um... I gotta confirm with Frank, but uh, I've had a lot of fun, and hopefully, hopefully I get one down, a big one down. I don't want to shoot one just for the sake of shooting it, at least not yet. Um, hmm. 
That is good. I'm gonna come out of here one skinny little bitch. I uh, I am definitely burning a lot more calories than I'm putting into my body, and I'm not drinking enough water. I pissed earlier, looked toxic yellow. Mm. My hammies have been cramping a little, but uh, today they have. I'm gonna stretch out here in a minute. I'll give Amy a call, maybe my daughter. Well, actually, too late. I can't call her. I have to call her. Try to call her tomorrow. I gotta climb up on this ridge over here to give him a call. I might wait till tomorrow. I'm a little pooped, but anyhow, I've been doing very good on the updates. But it's been a good hunt so far. Mm. Deepen the spirits up. Hopefully, I get one down soon. What do you got going on here? Dumping some crap out because um. We can't film where I'm going because then everybody will copy and come where we're hunting, but um, we've got the 32 to 34 inch wide buck and the big series of his, his riding dog, the 3x3, three three, bedded down. And it looks like I can, well I know I can get 60 yards from him, but hopefully I can get 30 yards from him. Um, I gotta do a big loop, maybe a mile. I'm gonna come above him in the cliffs and then Frank will kind of flag me in on this knife edge ridge. He'll tell me to go left or right if I can't see him so I know when I'm above him. So hopefully Good luck. that works out. <laughs> right there. Dude, shoot him. Fuck. Oh my god, Aaron, look down, dude. He's standing right below you. Oh, no, 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 no.
What do we got here? I finally got it done. Jeez. <laughs> we had 10 days of hunting, 12 days into the first trip. And then this is our first, well, we came in yesterday. And, uh, I, well, you actually spotted this one, and I spotted the wide one. They were together. Um, what were they, probably 40 yards apart? Yeah. And then uh, one heavily hellacious storm hit, and we hid in the tent. And then when it stopped raining, I ran out and started glassing again. And um, I found him, and then Frank came up. He was glassing a different area. Frank came up and got on him uh, on the spotter. And what is that, mile? Yeah, at least. Yeah, mile or it's a long ass ways, and it's uh, paying up to those cliffs. It's steeper than the backside of hell. Uh, if you on the top, that I don't know if you can see. There's a little grassy patch beside that red rock. Somewhere in that general area is where I came down, and it was so freaking steep. My toes blew out the front of my stocking socks. <laughs> So I had like half of my boot sock <laughs> hanging out of my stocking sock. I got down and uh, I saw this one and he was 34. And the big one was, there's a big wide buck. I think this one's older than the wide buck. I don't know, this thing's super old. It's got crazy mass, but the wide buck was at 48, which is a far shot for the recurve. So I sat there for... Most of this is a blur. How long did I sit there for? Quite a while. Yeah, I, I could see him. He was right there. But I was on a 45 degree slope and socks. And I couldn't get like footing. I drew. Did you see me draw back the one time? Yeah. I was shaking, not like shaking, nerve shaking, shaking, like trying to hold my balance, shaking so bad I let back down and I dug in with my foot to try to get more balance. And I thought, man, I can sneak it in. He had overhanging branches and I got photos of it and GoPro footage, but I did not sneak it in. I clipped the branch and hit right in the pocket. And I think he must have been asleep, or I don't know. He he's got scars all over. Him. Man, um, he flew out of his bed, and uh, I waited a second. I didn't hear him blow out. He just stood up, and Frank's watching, and Frank's got video of this because I came down closer, and I guess you know, Frank's telling me look down, or look up, or whatever. I'm looking. I'm probably looking to see which way I can go without falling, but I, I know he's going to walk to the right or left either way. He was on like a plateau bed where he had to, you know, to go either way. And I thought, I better sneak closer. That was bad enough the first shot. So I snuck down 10, 15 yards. My feet are fucked up. Um, those rocks are sharp as shit. And uh, he walked out and uh, I, sh I killed him like, right here pretty pretty much pinwheel actually and uh i don't know what he ran i mean i think he rolled quite a ways his face is all <clears> jacked he <throat> really didn't run that far because that set of trees let's see there is where he was bedded i think yeah so not okay. very far 75 yards maybe so it's been, there's been three arrows shot at this buck last week last day of the hunt um 12th day Almost the same area. He was bedded in a cave. I got above him at 18, 20 yards. Couldn't see him. Just waited. And he blew out to 43 or 4. And I shot and I missed. And then uh, he shut up my dreams and ran away. And then uh, this week, missed the first shot and then pinwheeled him the second. But I, it was almost... I mean, Frank, you got yours the eighth day? Uh, sixth day, season eighth day. Yeah. Oh. Frank got his the sixth day, so I appreciate him coming back in here with me because we definitely drug it out long enough. So this is 14 days for me to get a deer with the the recurve. The uh, I'm telling you, dude, it's I got the lucky quiver back on there. Oh, nice. <laughs> the uh, this I got pretty good penetration. I, I basically went through to about here and bounced off his opposite shoulder this direction, and. Uh, it's still sharp. Um, this I actually shot Valkyries at this thing both time, both the miss and the hit. But um, anyway, I should probably shut up so we can take some photos and get this thing cleaned up. But this has definitely been the hardest animal I have ever worked for, by far. <laughs> it's just kicked my my butt, but I'm super pumped. Thanks for coming, Frank. Yeah. Frank's got a belly ache. 
my stomach hurts. Frank what Frank ate sushi? Is that Some what it was? Fucked up whole food sushi. <laughs> He's All got right. streptococcus syphilitis. Something's now. going on. I guess you can get syphilis more than once. <laughs> <laughs> Today's Admiration Day. <laughs> this is where you admire all your hard work. Frank had Admiration Day already. Just a little bit. <laughs> Packs are getting heavier. We will be on our way here shortly. Got kombuchas waiting in the car. Hopefully, it makes me take a poo. It's getting hot. All right, well, I didn't film the actual stock, so I figured I'd film this. Uh, kind of comical. Um, first shot, deer's head was right there. And as you can see, I would have double lunged him, but I nicked those damn branches. I was up on that peak right there shot and he didn't know what to do he was asleep when I shot so he was just kind of jumped up and I I lost him for a minute and he actually walked out and I had scooted closer and I'll go over there here in a second and uh, I hit him over here on the second shot and I hammered him on that one well there he is I uh, got a little nervous there for a minute he uh made a death sprint down that I shot him in them cliffs up there and uh, he came down this drainage this buck is old he's got crazy bases look at the mass on that thing got a little eye guard and a bunch of little bumps growing out but his mass is it's ridiculous look at that pretty crazy I am pumped I can't thank Frank enough he uh I had this and that wide buck and uh the wide buck was just a little farther than I wanted to shoot and this thing's plenty old he's just massive we're gonna have a time packing him out I got the widow over there the day six arrows I killed this with a valkyrie missed him with a valkyrie <laughs> I missed him with two Valkyries actually. I missed him on the 12th day of our hunt. Um, when we had to come back in, he uh, <laughs> he was at 18 yards, I couldn't see him. He just had a sixth sense, blew out of his bed, wind was right. He stopped at 43 or four and I took a shot, shot under him, but I didn't miss this time. Well, I did the first time, but I think I would have killed him if you'll see in that video. I just got a little bit of deflection from that branch but uh, man his bases are just massive and uh, he's only about 24 wide but man I am pumped the lucky quiver I had to put it back on I actually <laughs> used a different quiver that first hunt and uh, I won't switch again that uh, the NFQ quiver is um, definitely not leaving the bow steep hopefully Frank's gonna get here pretty quick It only took uh, what? it only took three total arrows to kill this guy. Three? Well, one from last week and. <laughs> oh. Dude, I was getting nervous because I I couldn't find him. Huh? I couldn't find him. I I thought I heard him fall, but then those willows, I couldn't find any blood, and I went out to that point over there, yeah. and I dropped my pack and I thought, man, I gotta find blood, and I zigzagged. And I found a big thing of lung blood. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Dude, he's old as Christ. When you were moving in for your second shot, yeah. he was directly below you looking away. Oh, was he? And I was like, fucking look down. <laughs> look down. I couldn't see. I could He was like right there looking away and then he crossed uh, and then you shot. That's when I saw I saw when he crossed. That's funny. Could I see him when he was right below? I think so. I mean you I were 
looking, like you were looking at your feet and you were looking at the tree. Oh, did you see? It was like right fucking here, dude. Oh, that's funny. Well, when he didn't blow out from that first shot, did you see what where my arrow hit? I didn't see where it hit. Oh, it just stood up. I was you, like, oh shit. You'll let, so when I shot, did you see the big buck? The wide, wide one? He was at like 48, 52, and this guy was at 30 something. And I'm like, I can sneak it in there. I did not. I did not sneak it in there, dude. It, it, uh, I hit this branch and it hit right here, like right in his pocket. And he stood up and he didn't run. And did, did you see my socks? That shit was so steep. It blew out the front of the toe of my stocking socks. My socks were back to here on my feet. That's legit. Look how, but look how much base is. Fucking mass. Yeah. He's old. Oh, she's the fucking split in the front. Yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm pumped. Hell yeah. <laughs> Did you see me do this after I, I hit him? I couldn't tell, dude. I was, fucking, I was trying to watch him in the spot and I lost him. <clears throat> I was like, fuck, I should have put my binos on there. <laughs> I got it all on film. Dude, that first shot, when it hit, it literally hit right here between his leg and his body. And he stood up and I was like, you got to be shitting me. Yeah, I missed. Well, did you see me? Like, I gave it a second and I'm like, he didn't run and I was trying to... Dude, that shit was like 45 degrees <laughs> and I was trying to get down and I thought he's got to come left or right oh. and when he crossed that ditch it was like a perfect quartering away shot That's crazy. that thing's got mass for days God. Yeah, he does. he's gonna not be fun packing him out he's a fat motherfucker. yeah Damn, Holy fuck. he's old he's got a good Roman nose on him That's cool, dude I'm just happy we got one I'm not gonna be happy here in a minute. The best way to go Down, over, and up. Oh, oh Lord. 